welcome back. Uh, let's play ourselves some Shogi Wars. Uh, most of the time on this website, I tend to prefer 10 minute matches. Today will be no exception to that general policy, so um, I'm trying to think right now if I want to play third file rook strategy or central file rook or something else. Uh, but we're going to pick one of those. Uh, based on how some of our recent games have gone in the teaching ladder, in the All-American Summer Shogi Cup tournament thing, um, and uh, just wanting to have fun and learn in general. It's a beautiful avatar. I uh, wish I knew it's copyright. I'm trying to recall if the pros who use the website ever have like a second or two where they're seeking a game and therefore this shows up on their live stream. Um, not because of that, but I'm just wondering about the copyright of this dragon. But yeah, to play the website we have to load the app. To load the app, well... Yeah, you have to download all the source code, or the compiled bytecode. Good luck. Alright, we got central. Yeah, central file rook is what we're feeling like right now. Okay. Sure, why not? I wonder if this is what they really wanted to do. Um, all right, we call their bluff immediately. If it is a bluff, it might not be. So my observation <laughs> is that they've created a position that's a bit difficult to play. Um, so I'm going to try to escape my king while observing what it is that they're doing. Uh, yeah, it's an interesting policy they've got here. So I'm protecting the pawns next to my king, making sure that my king does not end up in some kind of tactic. Um, also trying to make sure I don't lose a silver or a bishop or something like that. So now they've placed this pawn. Um, my observation is that it's going to take some time for a silver to come up and do any kind of damage. I guess it takes three moves, and that's not even where you want the silver to be located. Um, one. Yeah, I guess, do I attack with Reckless Abandon? If I push this pawn, I can. Uh, pawn, silver, pawn, silver, pawn. Takes, or something. I'm curious. I want to know whether this is a good idea or not. And the only way to know is to try it. All right. So I guess they're going to try to support this pawn. And we are going to try to tear it down because their king is an obvious target. Um. Let's close this diagonal for their bishop. Mm. 
Yeah, this escalated very quickly. Um, but I think they've actually built Yagara. It's just one file off of where you would normally try to build it. So I'm not sure what the merits of such a structure are. Uh, but yeah, let's take a minute now and just put our king to safety. Acknowledging that they've built this weird thing, this fun little shape in the center of the board. And I don't need to worry about that shape. It's not my shape. Um. Try to put some pressure on this side. And I'm still trying to figure out where do my rook and bishop really belong here. Uh, so we built Half Mino Castle, which is a good shape. Okay, they've built Twin Gold with two silvers up front, which is super prone to a bishop drop, but, but um, this might not be the minute to do that. That's interesting. Um, actually, yeah, this is fine. This is another way to support my bishop. It's atypical for me to bring the knight out like that, but there are merits to this. Right, so ultimately the goal is to hit the king. There's all this stuff in the way, but... Eventually, we should be able to hit it. Okay, I'm going to resist this center thing. I'm going to deny them the ability to get this vanguard pawn. Not that they aimed for it, but they could have aimed for it and probably should have. Or it would have been interesting to try that. I could have been a little faster on the uptake there. Um, so now let's let's roll. Let's crush this king. Um, curious. They're saying they want to exchange knights, basically. Oh, wait, I could move my knight. <laughs> that could be fun. I don't have to uh, um, engage them the way they intended. Now we've got a confusing position, don't we? Now we have a good position. Unless I've missed something. Alright, so if I take silver takes, they protect the head of their knight. Um, otherwise, if I don't take, they're trying to push through. Um, if I push, they take, I take a knight, they attack my rook. It's unpleasant. I have a knight. Oh. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. There's silver takes I can promote. Yeah, so that's what's going to happen here. I strike first. Alright, they offer a bishop exchange. I have no reason to decline this. Let's chase their rook. All right, they do realize, well, I don't know. This is interesting. 
Um, do I want their rook? Do I want to exchange this way? Is the question. We have a bishop in hand. If I take their rook, if they take my rook, if I take their gold, I've broken their castle and I can take more stuff soon. Yeah. Um, seems pretty straightforward. Oh, okay. Well, that's another possibility. Um, sure, I'll keep my pieces. That's what they want. Wait, maybe I want to put the rook down instead. Um, Something. Make sure I don't walk into a fork. Yeah, this knight is annoying, but since they don't have a pawn or something like that in hand, they need to defend this knight somehow. Uh, occurs to me that now a knight drop blocks my attack on their other knight and also generates a, another attack. Which I can only meet by dropping my bishop here. Um, they found another answer. But this one didn't concern me so much. Okay, yeah, they, they've generated, a, they've promoted to get a horse here. Um... I miss that you could promote a piece by dropping it and then retreating it. That's like one of the more basic rules of this game. I keep forgetting about it. Um, that said, I can exchange this horse off immediately before something bad happens. I'm trying to remove this knight, because, like, it's a thorn. It really is. Um, oh, right. Alright, so my rook's not that great here. Let's activate my rook. I've finally removed this dangerous knight. Although now I've given my opponent a rook, which somewhat scares me. But, um, hmm. somehow we'll survive. My attack is, like, ridiculously slow. And I'm not okay with that, but what can I do? So we've removed the knight. We now have a knight in hand. 
I want to dismiss the silver next. It's not easy. Um. Nifun. Can I get this silver to move away? Maybe I needed to remove this pawn. I don't know. Shogi's hard. Oh, I'm threatening to take this and then take the pawn. Okay. Actually have some plan here. Accidentally. Uh also thankfully a uh, rook drop is met by bishop takes silver promotion guarding the other bishop. Or these bishops can defend each other despite at present not doing so. In chess, like if you were to have a rook forking the two bishops, there'd just be no defense. You'd need like a rook to counter the rook. Uh, but here, pieces promote and peace promotions make defense possible. Um, right, that was the concern which occurred to me after I played my move. Because they have a rook drop back here, which is pretty awkward to me. Although, it looks possible to meet it with a pawn drop. I just keep trying to, like, get... exchange one piece for two pieces. One piece for two pieces over and over. Eventually they'll run out of pieces if I can do that enough times. They might promote this next. I might have to do gold takes. Alright. Um... Hmm. My bishop is defended by my silver general. Right. Um I pursue. They say don't run from a fork, because uh, it's just, in general, not worth running. Running can lead to some interesting shapes. Yeah, this center pawn is a bit of a thorn. It's hard to deal with, but um, we just keep removing all of our opponent's pieces until they have none left to attack with. Um, all right, you've collected my bishop. Well done. You have a cookie. Um, I missed that. But I got two pieces for one, so it's not entirely a loss. I really should not have walked into that, though. But... Thankfully, their rook is not so scary in that position. Um, also, they've placed their bishop in a dangerous, in a vulnerable position. So that's curious. So now I have a bishop again. I'll take it. Um, all 
right. Um, yeah, so they get a lance, but this is in the corner. Um, let's attack. Okay, that's weird. Um, this was not smart on my part. I allowed my opponent to speed up their attack, but they didn't. Um, so now we have a lance. Lances go well on the back row. Um, probably could have done something more aggressive than this. But I don't need to. The water is calm, and that's fine. Um, it's fine to, if the calm, water is calm, because I get to attack, and they don't. Oh, fuck. Whatever. Um, Victory is mine. Thanks for the game. That was awkward. I've needed to play faster because the site has no increment or bioyomi. Uh, but thankfully, we take the W, if only by the most dubious of margins. All right, let's try to have fun. Because <laughs> that was that was pretty intense. Good luck. Alright, we're gonna play the same thing. Um, except this time maybe try to make allocate my time a bit more wisely. So, as they did not prevent this uh, Vanguard Pawn, I'll take it. Um, Yeah, we've got ourselves a fun position. Are they building... What? Okay. Um, they have hurriedly built a castle that seems prone to attack. Um, so we are going to attack it. Now that we know exactly where the opponent's king is located. Okay. I guess that sets out our strategy. Um, interesting. Um, I should perhaps not hang this pawn. Yeah. Alright, half Mino Castle is probably fine.
Yeah, I think it's clear that we're both Q players that both of us got very excited this opening. All right, they're going to protect their bishop or something. Um, meanwhile, I'll actually get something done. And maybe they intended to push the pawn instead. I'm not sure what this lance move does other than mark time. Maybe it's an invitation to ask me if I'm going to push my lance. And I think my answer is maybe. I might push it. I don't know. I might not. Okay. Seen this before. Right. So the one thing I can't do is, like, completely forget about defending the left side of the board. I've done that before, and it gets awkward in a hurry, but... Um, oh, that's weird. That blocks their bishop. Um... Starting to think there's something I don't understand here. Okay, so I'm going to just restructure this a little bit. Um, I don't know. Oh, there it is. Kimuramino. I was going to say, I think that this is Kibaramino, that building this... Um, now, normally I'd want the rook in front of the knight. Um, so, yeah, we're just going to barrel down uh, the king's file here play opposing rook, even though there's no rook to oppose, the king's right there. So the king seems like a good target. Yeah, why not? I think both of us were so obsessed over this notion that what if the opponent exchanges bishops and then drops a bishop? That we built some shapes that are kind of silly. Um, but I think my shape's fine. Yep, yeah. alright. So, very tempted to push on that. Um, They could lift their gold if I don't push this immediately, so let's push this immediately. This way... Um, they cannot bring up the gold to defend this point. Um, Hmm. This is curious. Alright, so my bishop defends the head of this knight, so we can do something that looks a bit weird. But yeah, we've got good influence on their end of the board. Um, completely unopposed. And I think next I want to bring my rook over to the third file. Um, so I cannot force a breakthrough on the center file, but maybe the third file is a good candidate. 
I want to make sure that I first defend against, like, if there's rook somehow broke through, that it doesn't promote. So, um, Nanafu. interesting. Well, okay, I think I'm obligated to take that. And then play this and ask, like, what are we doing next? Um, one second, I have to get my water. And my alarm clock has been silenced. So yeah, the center pawn's kind of nice. Hmm. I forgot. That's an interesting point. All right, I guess I have to meet that with this exchange. And then repeat the shape. My bishop does prevent this pawn from moving forward. So although they do have the rook protecting this, so that's a bit concerning. This gold here is like out in no man's land, but... Um, yeah, what a position. Um, so there's another file on this board where stuff's happening. Yeah, I see that. It's fine. Whatever. Maybe I should be concerned about that? I'm not sure. So I've given them a knight, and I've taken an attack. <laughs> They've placed their silver in defense of the king, which on its face sounds reasonable. Um, but it's a bit superficial. I don't know. How do I refute this? Silver... Knight takes, pawn takes, gold takes... Rook takes... It doesn't do what we want. Um... Go for yeah, let me get another pawn in hand and think more about this. Also, remove my lance from this diagonal. They might exchange their knight for this lance. If they're trigger happy. Alright. Um, or we might get this little stand down. Um, where they've built an interesting box around the king. I would be extremely nervous in their position, but that's just me. Um, sure. What is the meaning of this pawn drop, I wonder?
All right, it's my turn. Um, well, this is like the most over the top demonstration ever, but, um, you know, if they, this is some kind of, um, Warfare. Um, it's a beautiful box. I just don't know how it stands against an attack. Um, but also I don't know how to attack it. Um, so I think I should build myself a little box. Um, oh right, now that's a good point. Um, All right, forward I go. Oh god. Why did I do that? I did that because I was excited. I did that because I was excited. Um, is it a good move? No. Very much no. Um... Hmm. Well, now we gotta fight this game all over again. Right, so serves me right for teasing. By some miracle, I'm surviving this, but could have been. It deserved to be worse than it is. Um. Hmm. Something. Oh, I walked into the same tactic twice, because I didn't learn the first time. But also because I'm, like, fixated by the possibility of an attack. I really need to break through somewhere. I just don't have the pieces that I'm most familiar with. But yeah, I'm trying to press an attack no matter what. Um. All right, so now their bishop is a target. Finally, one of my pieces becomes free. Maybe? Maybe I should have taken my freedom instead of... I don't know. But no, this looks fine. Um... I've made a hole next, or in my castle. 
Um, oh, right. I can't just advance uninhibited there. Um, So now my bishop might be of greater use than their horse is. Um. Got five pawns remaining. Oh, right. Okay, fine. You win. Um, let's do things your way. That's a fork. That's me missing an obvious thing. All right. Uh, have I mentioned that shogi is hard? I don't know if we mentioned that yet. But yeah, I seem to be dropping all my pieces in extreme time pressure. So that's cool. Um, try to exchange in some meaningful way and not just give away my pieces. Ippun. tricky. Uh, take one of those. I don't know where we place this. Oh my god. I should maybe look at my opponent's move before making my move. Maybe just as a general rule. Um, it might not be a terrible thing to do. Sanjubyo. I seem to be walking into checkmate. Thanks for the game. Well played. I did not deserve that. Or I deserved this loss, rather. So. Well played. That was interesting. I missed some things. Like I said, Shogi's hard. It's hard to remember everything that's going on. Good luck. This is why we try to play familiar shapes and not get crazy, wild, speculative stuff that we've never seen before. Um, although that can be fun, too. There's a time and place for that. Um. Alright, should we exchange bishops? I guess that's a no. Um, all right. Since they've committed to a shape already, we can 
build our shape a bit more flexibly. Uh, I guess they might be taking our bishop. I wonder. I did not think much about that, but maybe should have. Um, let's get our king away from that. Give it a space to run to. And try to put some pressure over here. Um, and before they push this, try to break open this file. So we repeat to them what they've done to us. Not just because it is beautiful, but because I need an open line, and having a pawn in hand is nice too. Um, but yeah, now we can build the Yagara shape here. And while they have built their castle faster, um, it's prone to bishop drops. So do you suppose there's going to be a bishop exchange this game? Oh, well, fuck. Shogi's hard. Hmm. Shogi is hard. All right. I keep forgetting to look for their ideas. Both last game and this game. Like, the opponent has chances to attack, and so I should think about chances to defend. Instead of just ending up falling into every last thing that the opponent <laughs> sets forward. Um, okay, so we're going to try to defend this pawn and pretend that we didn't mess up. Um, so we get two moves to get our silver into the center and recover this awkward situation. Yeah, I guess I'm just startled getting back into 10-minute shogi. Because it's a startling thing. Having to make your moves without thinking. And then having to deal with the consequences of making mistakes. It's not even that I wanted this one. Well, they built the shape that I wanted to build. Almost. It's a slightly different shape, actually. But yeah, if I move this silver, then they can promote back there. And that's a bit concerning. And I don't know. Like, I can't block this bishop by moving my pawn. It's too late now. So we have to find some other route. Oh. Curious. So they got impatient. I guess. Either way, they've settled upon this strategy. Um, hang on, so I've got a lance in hand. What can I do with the lance? Um, no, I should take here. And then put my lance back. And see if this is what they had in mind. Could be. Um, we're going to drop the rook back to try to cover all this stuff that's about to go down. All right. 
I move my lance again. Um... I see, so this was their intent. I probably could have seen this pawn drop if I'd spent a little time looking for it. Um. I'm just so impatient right now. There's, it doesn't benefit me to be this impatient. I saw that coming. So they get a knight. Oh, we have a lance again. And this time they do not have a pawn to block my lance, so this time if I were to drop the lance on the rook's head, uh, the rook would have to run away. It might run away to the edge here, but it would have to run away. But, oh, well that's odd. I don't get it. Um, we've got four pawns, so we might as well use them, right? <laughs> uh, I mean, this makes sense from the perspective of if they put the rook and the bishop here, we got ourselves a little shish kebab. Um, if not, I think I'm threatening to promote. That's so weird. Okay, so I guess we just go ahead and promote them. And assume that we haven't missed some killer tactic. Um, oh right, well, that's what we get for assuming. Um, hmm. I guess we'll put another pawn here. Because, like, this game, clearly I have no other good ideas, right? Um. Okay, let's try to not get murdered here. Can't believe they keep putting their bishop here. It's not a good square for the bishop. But, like, I walk into every tactic, so it kind of justifies anything the opponent can do. It's hard to criticize the opponent's mistakes when I make so many on my, of my own.
I mean, yeah, they built a really solid castle. And I'm annoyed, and if I had a bishop, gosh, I'd be dropping it. But I don't, so I need to just calm down a little bit, activate the rook, see what I can do. Maybe in just a second I need to, like, pawn drop here. I'm concerned they might attack my silver somehow. And try to make this more complicated than it already is. But yeah, I played the silver drop because my king is so fragile at this point that uh, I guess moving up a gold might have been safer, but like walks into other tactics. But yeah, moving up a gold would have been a more efficient shape. Um, but yeah, I'm just paranoid at this point that something bad's going to happen. <laughs> Right, so let's attack this bishop again. Let's attack the rook. The real target isn't necessarily the rook. Oh, do you want to exchange rooks? Uh, we can arrange that. I can't let them take here and attack my undefended rook. <coughs> so now my rook is defended, but they can move the rook to this file instead. Instead, they give me a rook in hand, which is, like, extremely powerful. Um, I gotta celebrate that. All right. I mean, yes, they get a dragon. Okay. But that couldn't be helped. So yeah, they've built a line of pieces. Um, the only problem is that there's another line on the board right behind it. That if I could just get all my pieces onto that line, things would be okay. Go um. Fun. Right, so what's next here? Pray tell. Um, okay, I'll walk into this fork, I guess. Um, don't know if I should have put this rook somewhere else. Um, that's a good point. This is what I was looking at. Is that the bishop has nowhere to move. Um... Okay, we're going to remove this bishop now. And get our king running. And hopefully not drop my rook like an idiot. Uh, well, looks like we got to drop our rook like an idiot because... Well, no, they don't have a gold. If they had a gold general in hand, we'd have to take here. As they have only silver, knight, bishop, etc., um, I don't have to take this pawn. Uh, 
Actually, yeah, now I have a nice attack. You'd think my king would be in danger, but, like, how do they attack it? Um, they probably attack it once I accidentally give them another piece. Let's be real. But, um... Okay, we attack this bishop. Uh, we continue to attack this bishop somehow. I'm not sure if it much matters. Let's play here so they don't have a knight drop. Alright, they take our silver, we take back. Uh, let's get running before something bad happens. Let's continue running. This isn't running fun. Right. Um, Thanks for the game. Alright, well, yeah. Uh, I think we've seen the good, the bad, and the ugly today. Um, Shogi Wars can have some interesting positions that result just because there's not enough time to think, which results from selecting 10 minute no increment, no Bioyomi. There's just is no increment or Bioyomi on the site, so we make the best we can of it. I hope we all enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.